president. But Sosion, who is fooling who here? The deputy president says the president abandoned the big four agenda for the handshake. The president is saying his deputy abandoned him. So who is who's fooling who here? I, I, I think let's call a spade a spade. The source of all this political confusion in Kenya is the dishonesty of the president himself. That's a fact. Those of us who have been in this country, those of us who have worked close, close to government, and uh, we have seen the changing body language, demeanor, and even uh, interest of the president. And when the president changes his interest away from you, he will fight you very furiously, without mercy. And uh, if, if you get down to the, uh, the alliance of uh, Uhuru Kenyatta and William Ruta, back to 2013, look at their association, how they came together. Both of them had a case in the ICC, and, uh, and I think largely that is what brought them together. And uh, uh, that rallied together the people of Mount Kenya and Rift Valley. And uh, the, the cycle of conflicts during elections ended because the two communities gelled together. And uh, with, with time, the interests of Uhuru have changed and they're very strange. And if you come, uh, if you come along his way, he will fight you extremely furiously. I think here, uh, and Kenyans, have seen, we have seen, why is it that Mount Kenya, the base of Uhuru Kenyatta is even resisting and disagreeing with Uhuru totally. Because you can tell lies. There are lies that you can tell. But, uh, and and in, in, in this whole scenario, I don't think the president is honest. And he is mishandling the transition. Uh, all what he ought, and he's trying to play the Moi games of 2002, trying to dictate who, who should be who, which Kenyans are now standing against. We Kenyans in 2002 uh, refused the guidance of Moi. And, uh, and if you are an exiting president, prepare to honorably hand over and go home. Yeah. The way Kibaki did. Kibaki did not tell us whom to vote for. He waited until a president was elected and he handed over. Yeah. And I think that was decent politics, as opposed to what was done in 2002. And you can recall the humiliation that even Moy faced at, 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 at Uhuru Park. Yeah. Why? Because he wanted to impose somebody on the people of Kenya. And the people of Kenya took a decision. It's not any different in this of 2022. And uh, why did we give a term limit of 10 years to a president? so that at the end of 10 years you exit and exit completely. You don't turn around again and try to chaperone politics. Yeah. Uh, like now, look at the ruling party of the president, Jubilee, which he has destroyed it himself with his own hands. So that right now, he doesn't even have a working ruling party that has the moral authority to govern. And he has gone into another arrangement where he's the chairman of... Uh, a coalition. That is not right. We must be able to sustain and strengthen institutions for purposes of governance yeah. and, 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 um, and strengthening moral politics in this country. I think Uhuru Kenyatta is morally wrong. The only good thing he said the other day is that he will be prepared to hand over to whoever is elected by the people of Kenya. And that person will be elected on, 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 on Tuesday. Yeah. And, and of course, I, I remember him talking in vernacular, and he has that knack of trying to talk in vernacular, which I, I, I take great exceptions myself. I don't remember Moi speaking in vernacular anyway, even the way and Kibaki and the rest. This is not right. Uh, I think the body language of the president yeah. is destroying the unity and the moral fabrics of this country, whereas the the nature of politics that we have this time round in 2022 yeah. is really strongly issue-based. And okay. that is where we want Kenyans to focus on. Okay. Even some of these dirty and emotional uh, issues are actually symptoms of the deep conflicts of politics of this campaign process, yeah. which, of course, will resolve itself. But uh, the entire decision, as has been stated, the court of public opinion, yeah. the voters. Okay. It doesn't matter how the president behaves, yeah. whatever he does, whatever. We have read 
his own personal interest. Okay. Not sincere, not genuine at all, those of us who have worked in this government. And we think the people of Kenya should then be left to take their decisions. And we have seen the president with his own backyard of Mount Kenya. Yeah. He's not even agreeing with his own party, meaning there is something wrong. Okay. If, 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 if he doesn't have peace with his own people at home, then he cannot purport to try and guide the country. Let the people of Kenya decide. freely, independently yeah. decide, okay. vote on Tuesday, yeah. and vote a president right. of their choice. Uh, Prof, 